Good morning guys, today we have a very special treat for you. So when I say the words to you, luxury over water bungalow, you probably automatically think of the Maldives. Yep. Well, we are currently in Malaysia. We found the most amazing resort. It's called Pankar Lot Resort. We're gonna show you around today. Let's go check it out. First, we are going to take you inside of our overwater bungalow. This one is called a spa villa. There are various types of villas here. This one is kind of the most private, farthest away from the rest of the resort. Let's go inside. Uh, before we do, can we just take a look at where we are again? Look how beautiful this place is. It's epic. Oh my. So here we are inside. It's in a beautiful Malaysian style. Over here, we have the desk. Got a really nice view of, mm -hmm. of where we just were. Big bed. The bed is so comfortable. Super cozy. Check out the detail in the ceiling. It's just absolutely beautiful. So you're probably wondering, since we're in Malaysia, it is really, really hot outside. They've done a great job of cooling it down in here. It's great AC. Let's go this way. So now we are in the bathroom. I think it's almost as big as the bedroom. It's huge yeah, in here. And there is a, a few perks about being in here. You get a coffee machine and there's lots of uh, different items that you can get. And also there is a mini bar as well. But I think the piece de la resistance is this amazing tub with, well, that view. Yes, this opens up. I absolutely love this room and the bathroom, but let's go see the best part. Voila. Wow. Yeah. This is absolutely out of this world. I'm just walking around here shaking my head. I cannot believe we are finding this in Malaysia or any country for that matter. I always expect to find bungalows like this in the Maldives. Okay, so if you are wondering where we are, we're on the west coast of Malaysia, about halfway between KL and Penang. And this is a private island, it's about three miles off the coast of Malaysia, and it's about 300 acres. So we're surrounded by beautiful emerald green water. I don't think I've ever seen water this color before, it's beautiful. And then the rest of the island is all jungle. They've done a really good job of preserving it environmentally, it's gorgeous. So as we said before, we are staying in a spa villa and to me what that really means is it's extra quiet and well, only certain people can get over here. So to be more specific, I think you have to be 16 in order to be here and to use the pool, you either have to be staying in the spa villa like we are or you have to book a spa treatment. So as of filming time, we haven't actually tried out the spa facilities yet. We do have plans to do so. I can tell you the menu for the spa looks incredible. I can't wait. How amazing is this pool? You actually can't tell from here, but they did a perfect infinity. So when you're in the water, it looks like it just extends into the ocean. It's gorgeous. Also over here, you can probably tell it's really, really quiet. You can also get drinks, cocktails, juices, whatever you want. just passed 
passed through the sea villas and now we are on what I would call the main side of the resort. You can also see there's some villas up in the hills that look down over the resort. It looks like a beautiful view. And we're gonna go check out the main pool, which is right beside us. Also, can we just take a minute and look at this incredible beach we are on. There's white sand everywhere. The water is emerald green. There's palm trees around. There's water bungalows. What else could you ask for? This is seriously like a pinch me moment it for really me is. anyway. Will yeah. you pinch me? Ouch. There are so many amenities at this place. Just to name a few, there is Tai Chi, I think there is yoga, there's water sports, there's a jungle walk. There's a gym, there's a gym. couple pools as we already said. Mm -hmm. You're wondering about dining. I think you can have a uh, dinner at about four different places or if you want to have a really romantic dinner, you can have a private dinner. There's a few places for lunch, a couple of bars, one place uh, for breakfast. So it's a pretty big resort. We're gonna get a drive over to the beach, which is on the other side. And we can give a call. Right yeah, there. let's uh, pick up the phone and call them. Okay. So we just made our way over to the other side of the island where there's a beach and a place to have some lunch. We took the shuttle, which thankfully is provided by the resort to get around easily. It's a pretty big place. Yeah, it's so awesome that they have that uh, feature. And now we're on the other side and so far it looks, well, completely different. Okay, now that we're over here, we just realized that we've worked up an appetite. We got to find some food. There's a bar over here called Chapman, so we're gonna grab some lunch. One thing we're really liking about the dining options here at the resort is that all of the places seem to have a good variety in terms of Western styles or you can get something a little bit more local. Yeah, so today we got some fried noodles, which is a Malay dish. There's some chicken in there. I'm looking forward to trying that. We also got some fried rice, which also has, I think, chicken as well. You can see uh, some peppers, chilies, corn in there. This is going to be good. Ooh. Feels wrong to eat this with a fork, but I'm doing it. I know. There's no chopsticks. We could probably ask for chopsticks, but it's mm. okay. Yeah? So delicious. You get a nice soy sauce flavor. Uh, there's some spice in there. There's some crunch from, I think, the cabbage. Mm, loving it. All right, look at this guy. I think I got some, I don't know if that's cabbage or lettuce, but this is a big old bite. Wish me luck. Mmm. Oh, man. That's amazing. Those noodles are like perfectly fried. There's still a bit, you know when you get fried noodles and they're like, there's a little bit, I don't want to call it grease, but they're a little bit slimy. It's a perfect balance. The crunch in there is definitely coming from that lettuce or cabbage. I don't know what it's from, but I also got a chili and it adds the heat. And we did tell them, don't hold back. We like spiciness, as you guys know. So far, so good. Now we're gonna have to try the other one. Making sure I'm getting a little bit of everything here as well. This smells unbelievable. Mmm. Oh, that is just lovely. The, the flavor is going on in this one. Totally different than that, obviously. The rice is like kind of creamy, if that makes sense. Then you take the sauces in there. There's some fried egg, corn, some of that chili. It adds the spice, the creaminess, the contrast is perfect. You you are gonna love this one as well. All right. All right. Got some chicken on there. I think there's some egg and obviously rice. Mm, the egg is really good. Mm. I thought the flavors might be similar to the last one, but not at all. Maybe, I thought maybe the sauces were yeah. on, but no, we're totally different. D did you find the rice like a little creamy? It is a little creamy, yeah. I mean, it's not overly strong. Like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say there's anything like overly like punch. powerful yeah. happening. Yeah, there's no big punch, but it's a good overall flavor. Yeah, if I had to pick between the two, um, I might be uh, more of a fan of the noodles, but this is really good. I'm so glad we got both. Thank you.
probably tell by now why this is called Emerald Bay. Have you ever seen water this green? I still cannot get over it. And speaking of the water, it looks so inviting. We're gonna go have to go in there and just see how warm it is. It's going to be our first time in uh, the Indian Ocean as well. So and while we're at it, we have a new snorkel mask yeah. to try out. It's by Ninja Shark. We're gonna give it a go. So this mask, it looks really cool. You've probably seen these before. It's a full facial mask and it has a snorkel so I've never tried this out before now I don't know what we're gonna see in there I don't get the sense that there's a lot of coral or uh, sea life but we'll find out if anything we'll see how clear the water is all right so Trevor is going to give it a go he probably can't hear him if he talks so I'm gonna have to narrate for him he's got the mask on going under the water hope it works was pretty cool one thing I never even thought about is when you're underwater you don't have to bite anything so usually when you snorkel you have to like you know bite something and it's in your mouth and then your mask gets all fogged yeah like. so this is kind of neat because it's like over your whole face and you can just breathe with the mask on kind of neat it is really neat uh, the hardest part is definitely getting it adjusted yeah. if you're getting more than one you don't want to share it because once you get it adjusted, you want to keep it that way. It takes a while to get it just right for your face because we had water coming in here and then yeah. water coming in towards the most we have to keep. Once it's on, it's but once all, you get it, it's, it's all good. good. Yeah. yeah. Too bad we didn't see more, but it was fun just to try it out. We're going to be trying that some more. Yeah. I think we have a link for people. We do. So uh, it's called Ninja Shark. We're we'll linked below, and we also have a discount code for you, so you want to use that yeah. when you uh, check out. All right, guys. Overall, today has been absolutely epic. If you will be coming to Malaysia, and I hope you get to come here, you should probably put this place on your list. Absolutely. Uh, you do not want to miss this place if you're in Malaysia. Yeah, Even if you're in Asia, I would say make your way over the here. The fact that there's, you know, the water bungalows are one thing. Overwater bungalows are hard to find anywhere. Mm -hmm. And like we said at the first of the video, I, I just think of the Maldives when I see that kind of thing. But the fact that they're in Malaysia for a, a you know, a fraction of the cost, really, yeah. it's just incredible. It makes this place just one of the best, I would say. And, true, and last week we were in KL. We did a few videos there, and yep. next we're going to be in Penang. So this is a nice, uh, like, nice segue. Segue, yeah, it was like a yeah. relaxing segment in the middle. So of that said, videos. if you uh, haven't got a chance yet, go back and watch our video uh, on KL. And uh, next up, we are going to Penang. So get ready for that. All right, guys, that's it from Pankor Lot. Wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.